I have shown several types of SSDs for computers, with various formats and storage capacities, to build a good computer, but today we'll see the specifications of another NVMe SSD with lots of potential. But first, subscribe to the channel because I bring new products every week. But let's see the specifications of this SSD. This is the Kioxia Xeria Pro NVMe Gen 4 TLC with an M.2 format, a PCI Express 4 interface capable of reaching reading speed of 7300 megabytes per second and writing speed of 6400 megabytes per second. It uses TLC memory, it can have up to 2 terabytes of storage capacity and it has a guarantee of 400 terabytes written for each terabyte of capacity. Therefore, the 2 terabyte SSD will have a TBW of 800. This SSD has a length of 80 millimeters and weighs 8 grams, and it can reach a temperature of 85 degrees. With a PCI Express 4 interface capable of reaching speeds of 7000 megabytes per second, this is a very good SSD, ideal for most people, but it also has a higher price than normal. But you can find other slower SSDs that are cheaper or even faster SSDs with a PCI Express 5 interface capable of reaching speeds above 10 gigabytes per second. But I'm going to have to do the file reading and writing speed tests to confirm if it really reaches the speeds promised by the manufacturer and if the capacity is true. M.2 SSDs have become the most important component for computer performance as they offer higher speeds and greater durability, making it ideal for portable computers and desktop computers. These M.2 SSDs are small modules that are mounted on the computer's motherboard with a high-speed PCI Express interface, capable of reaching speeds above 10 GB per second, and this speed improves your computer's performance and increases your productivity. But I explain how you choose an NVMe SSD for your computer. There are four important characteristics when choosing an SSD. Speed, capacity, memory type and the module length. The speed of the M.2 SSD depends on the PCIe Express interface version. The PCIe Express 3 version can reach file reading speeds of 3500 megabytes per second, while PCIe Express 4 can reach 7000 megabytes per second and PCIe Express 5 up to 12000 megabytes per second or 1.2 gigabytes per second. The PCIe Express Gen 5 SSDs need a heat sink because of the very high speeds. Another characteristic is the storage capacity because normally an SSD can have capacity between 500 gigabytes and 4 terabytes. You must choose the SSD with the capacity you need, but the more capacity it has, the more expensive is the SSD. The type of memory is also important. An SSD can have flash memory of the type MLC, TLC or QLC. In summary, QLC memory is cheaper but will wear out more quickly, while MLC memory is more expensive but it's more durable. The other characteristic is the size of the SSD module, because an M.2 SSD can have a format of 2230, 2242 or 2280. The most common size is 2280, which is 22mm wide and 80mm long. Therefore, you should check your computer to confirm which size is compatible. I hope you like this video, because I want to help you to choose the best SSD for your computer, to build a good computer or to upgrade your current computer. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week, give a like to this video to help the channel grow and if you have any questions, write in the comments.